Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Pisces. And this is going to be for the weekend of the 10th and 11th of June. It's just a little check-in. I will be using my Art of Adventure Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot cards. And then I will pull you a card from my Messages from the Guides Oracle deck. So Pisces, let's see what messages we have for you. So Pisces, this is for you. The Seven of Cups. You have some opportunities, some new doors opening for you. The Ten of Wands. You got some extra responsibility. The Seven of Wands. You are above your challenges, darlings. The Page of Wands. You will receive the good news you're waiting for. The King of Wands, this could be a fire energy within your environment. This could be a Leo, an Aries or a Sagittarius. Or maybe you're a leader and you're just feeling a little stubborn right now. Judgment, maybe you've done some self-evaluation and you feel renewed, a brand new you. The Ten of Pentacles. Unexpected income or unexpected wealth. Enough to take care of you and your family. It can also mean domestic love. The Eight of Pentacles. You're working very hard on something. You are working away on this. And the Six of Pentacles. Balance has been restored. So... Let's see the Seven of Cups. You got some opportunities that you've been manifesting. You have many doors opening for you right now. And you are the magician. I got the magician and I got the page of cups. You need to start using your intuition that you were born with. Start trusting yourself, following you. Then we got the ten of um ten of wands. Ten of Wands. On top of the Ten of Wands, we have the Sun and we have the Chariot. The Sun means happiness, positivity, and all beautiful things. And the Chariot is something coming to you. Maybe something victorious. You're overcoming obstacles. But it's coming fast too, okay? So you got the Sun card and you got the Chariot. Then you got the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. On top of the seven of wands, you got the six of pentacles and you got the ten of wands. So you've restored balance. 
you know, financially, you, you're balanced. Maybe even emotionally. However, you got some extra responsibility in you, okay? So you got the Ten of Wands here, but that's okay. You're still moving forward, all right? You're still making progress. So it's not holding you back. It's just a little tedious right now. So then you got the Page of Wands. So let's see. The Page of Wands. On top of the Page of Wands, the messages you're waiting for. You've really been waiting for it. Um, things are moving forward as planned. And you're waiting and you, you might be going on a trip. You might be thinking about a trip. But for some reason, you're at a standstill here. You feel like you're a little confined and you lack a little direction. Okay, so you need to release something that's holding you, blocking you. There's something that's blocking you. What it is, only you would know. Okay, darlings, maybe there's something that happened in your life. Maybe something that you're holding on to that you haven't released as yet. But whatever it is, you need to take a look at it. So you got the three of wands and you got the hanged man. And then we got the king of wands here. Now that could be a Leo or Aries or a Sagittarius within your environment. Or you might just be feeling a little stubborn right now. <laughs> and the king of wands. So let's just say that this is an energy in your environment. A Leo, a Aries or a Sagittarius in your environment. Okay, Pisces? Or you just like being in charge. And you got a decision to make where this energy is concerned. I got the two of swords, the king of King of Wands and the Two of Swords. You got a decision to make. And then you got the Judgment card. You got to do some self-evaluation. And you got the Ten of Cups and you got the Seven of um, Pentacles. So there's happiness on the horizon. Maybe even marriage waiting for you. You just got to be aware of it, okay? Just, you know, open your eyes and look around. You might be missing something. And things are starting to come to fruition. So whatever it is your heart desires, just make sure you're very specific. When you manifest, you need to be very specific because you will get what you want. So the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. And then here's the Ten of Pentacles, the money. And on top of that is the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Now, the King of Swords, this could be uh, air energy. Ow, with, ow, I hit my heel. Uh, air energy within, ow, uh, air energy within your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you just communicated to someone in regards to making an investment. Don't act with haste, though. They got big changes on, on the horizon for you. Opportunities. You're going to want to seize the moment. You may seize the moment. It's totally up to you. All right? Just use your quick wit about you. You know, just think about it. So you got the King of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Something coming fast. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. On top of the Eight of Pentacles, we got the Three of Swords and we got the Seven. We got the Seven of Cups. That's how the cards, that's how the deck, this reading started. So it's some kind of pain. You're carrying some kind of pain. Is that something you might have to look back on? Well, you you might you might be getting over whatever it is. You might be facing the past and getting over whatever it is that hurt you or whatever. Who broke your heart? You feel lonely. But that could be because you're concentrating so hard on what you're trying to build. You see, you have to learn to balance things in life. We can't just focus all in one way, okay, unless that's the only place we want to go, all right? Usually, we try to find a balance. You, a balance with material things and spiritual things, you know, or spirituality and material things. A balance with earthly things and spiritual things. Yeah. That's how I'll say it. You might start to feel lonely or you might feel like like you're alone if you are just focused on one thing and one thing alone, you know.
And then you have the opportunities here. You got a lot of options, a lot of choices. You can pick and choose. You can choose to stay in the pain or you can choose to let it go. Because you're working on something that will prepare you for the future, okay? So I got the three of swords here and I got the seven of cups. So it might be just a little lonely and sad right now. You're going to restore balance, all right? The balance will be restored. If you got some options. Just be, it could be just because you're focused. You're so focused on what it is that you're doing. You're going to need to go within, do some soul searching. You need to honor your spiritual self. And then there's the page of wands. You are going to have good news, encouraging good news. And you will have balance. You're going to be very enthusiastic about something that's going to bring you abundance. So don't give up. All right. Don't give up. So let's see what card or, or what message from the guides we have for you. guidance excuse me ask for guidance be mindful that you are not on this journey alone it can seem that way at times but there are many souls not only on the earth plane, but in the spiritual, spiritual realms. Who have your best interests at heart and are always eager to help you. All you have to do is reach out and ask. When moments arise that are difficult and you feel that you need help making the correct choice, assistance is always here. This was the agreement before incarnation. Whether you are consciously aware of it, or not. There are several ways to contact your guides through contemplation, meditation, prayer, or asking for contact in the dream state. Your connection to, uh, to the wisdom of your guides is omnipresent. It's your job to find the best way for you to receive it. Guides and other teachers work closely with you and they understand your spiritual habits and mental processes so that they can steer you in the right direction. Besides personal assistance, they also have the ability to influence earthly circumstances for your benefit. There are many beings surrounding you from many realms. Wise men, scholars, and masters who no longer require incarnations in the earth school. Asking for help is not perceived as a weakness. In fact, just the opposite is true. It is the fully aware human who acknowledges and assesses, accesses his or her connection to, to the spirit realm. Make it a daily ritual to ask your guides to go before you on your earthly path and show you the way. You know, sometimes I say in my messages whenever I come live or my videos, I always say you're not alone. You're not alone. I'm not alone. You're not alone. Ask. Whenever you find yourself in need, of guidance, if you find yourself um, like in a lot of sadness and darkness, okay, and you want to come out from there and you don't know how to do that, just get some quiet space, okay?
and ask for help. And you will get help. All right? Stay positive. Know you are loved. I love you. You take care of yourselves, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.